Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. We're coming at you live from Honolulu from beautiful uh, PTC 24 conference. Um, and I am here with the Cityside Fiber folks. We've got the co-founder Rod Hansen on the end there, also CEO now, and Jonathan Restivo, uh, Chief Development Officer. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thank yeah, you, Candice. Absolutely. So we're going to have a, a quick uh, but very good conversation around kind of the origin story behind Cityside Fiber and what you all, the projects you all have going on right now. Um, so I'll start with you, uh, Rod, if you could just give us um, a little bit of insight into uh, what kind of made you realize that you wanted to uh, build out this fiber service, considering that you're, you're residents yourself um, in Orange County. Yeah, it's, it's funny. We started out looking at a number of different markets to build fiber in. Um, and, and like a lot of parts of the country, uh, Orange County, uh, about 85 percent of the, the county does not have fiber, uh, mm. especially when you get into the residential areas. And so uh, for us, as we looked around the country and we looked at right, right, right at home, uh, we saw the same same uh, issues. And we've been I've been in the telecom industry for 30 plus years and Jonathan and I have built uh, infrastructure around the country, including Orange County. So we, mm. we, we, we kind of know uh, what needs to be done and how mm. you go about building in that area. And so mm. um, we decided to just uh, just focus here at home. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a certain credibility, um, hopefully, that we can bring to the table, being that we've experienced the same pain points that um, all of our neighbors feel. And so mm. when we talk about being local, talk about being engaged with the community and uh, the need for this type of service. We're speaking from a place of experience, um, mm -hmm. having lived the same challenges. Yeah, yeah. So, and then maybe JR, you can give us some um, insight into, you know, a project of this magnitude really requires a lot of buy-in um, from the community and uh, approvals from local government as well. Um, so uh, if you can maybe talk a little bit about the challenges that you've successfully navigated um, during this process. Yeah, um, one of the reasons that we, we hesitated at first, I guess, in in kind of exploring building within Orange County is that it's really expensive. There's a reason that the infrastructure there is so poor is uh, it's tough to build in California. But as Rod said, um, we've done it before. We've we've taken the beatings. And so we kind of know um, what to expect, what our price points are going to be to to do that and all of that. So um, the uh, <laughs> overcoming those challenges, um, you know, we, we've looked at um, working with the city uh, in particular to find ways to basically take advantage of existing infrastructure, take, um, work with them on their plans for street resurfacing and mm -hmm. other kind of projects that are there. And um, both the city of Tustin and city of Dana Point have been mm -hmm. great about working with us in that space to, to make sure that we're scheduling in a cadence that um, works for them, works for mm -hmm. us, works for residents, et cetera. So uh, from the city perspective, um, really trying to engage um, with them early on and do some pl uh, planning and make sure that they know that we know that we're about to make their job a lot harder and mm -hmm. to try to um, account for that. And so from yeah. the city perspective, uh, that's been great. Mm -hmm. And then at the community level, obviously, um, like we said, there's uh, the pain points are there mm -hmm. and people have been incredibly supportive and um, excited. Uh, that we're coming. We're seeing great take rates um, mm -hmm. as we launch our services in, in Tustin, Dana Point, and future mm -hmm. future cities. We've had a, a ton of interest from uh, communities all throughout Orange County, um, people calling up, stopping by our office mm -hmm. uh, to, to say, hey, you know, can you can you get over here? Right. Yeah. Um, so that's that's been really cool to, to see. It's it's taken us a while. We've had some hesitation um, both at the city level and um, from residents about, you know, who are these guys? Mm -hmm. Are they real? They've mm -hmm. been promised a lot in the past and things have fallen through. Um, but we've spent the better part of the last year plus establishing our brand, establishing our credibility. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's, you know, people are starting to realize that we're serious and yeah. we mean business and, and we're going to we're going to get this done for the community. Excellent. Yeah, I love to hear that. I'm, I'm congrats on all the <laughs> success. And that leads us into our next question, which is about 2023. You've broke ground in two communities right throughout the year. Um, so lots of lots of exciting things going on. So if you could give us just a little insight into what's ahead for for city side in 2024. Yeah, so, so 2024 is uh, is really uh, last year, we spent most of our time kind of building the infrastructure building mm -hmm. the in, and when I say infrastructure, 
our internal infrastructure, mm -hmm. uh, getting the right people in place, the systems, the software, mm -hmm. um, our, our, our core network is built. Um, so really putting all that, uh, the foundation of the business is in place. And, and so now we're, we're in a position to really launch uh, aggressively and to build into those markets mm -hmm. and to expand into some new markets uh, next year as well. So uh, all of which will stay in uh, Orange County, uh, mm -hmm. close to home. Um, but there's an awful lot of opportunity throughout Orange County that we're going to be focusing on, uh, mm -hmm. on developing. So. Excellent. Well, congrats again. And thank you so much for joining us, Rod and JR. We're very excited to have uh, the latest insights from Cityside on JSA TV live here from Honolulu. Uh, thank you to all of our viewers at home and hopefully here at the event as well. Uh, happy networking. We'll see you next time.